What up, what up, what up? Got some fun stuff I want to talk about today. I cannot wait. First of all, though, if you guys are new here, slap that sub button. I'm new to the Yugi tubing. I want to get into some uh, fresh thoughts on what you guys can do to overtake things like Access Code Talker and Christian Halka Fibrax, otherwise known as Needle Fiber. And I got a couple things in here that I want to talk about, but hopefully you guys like my answer to these problem cards right here because you guys can pretty much ensure victory before the duel even starts. Let's get right into it. Let that too. Let's let the play. No, I lied. Let's get right into it. Bump bump. All right. So, access code talker, Halka Fibax, and Link Cross. They're problems. Some people don't have anything that can get over Access Code Talker when it wipes their board. Halka Fibrax helps them create these wild boards. And Link Cross is usually the enabler after Halka Fibrax is used to finish it. Winter Cherries. No one plays this card. Why? This card is amazing. I've been using this card for so long now, and its effect is so overpowered. You get to look at their entire extra deck. You get game knowledge. And game knowledge is so important. I remember when Simo and other YouTubers were talking about exchange and how exchange is going to be so great because it gives you all this hand knowledge and all this. No. Winter Cherries. Look at their entire extra deck. You get to see exactly what you're playing against, exactly how they're going to combo, what's the, what's the thing you need to hit. And that's what you're going to learn using Winter Cherries. More than that, if you have access code talker in your combo, Halker Fibrax in your combo, or Link Cross in your combo, you can take that deck knowledge a step further and rip that card out of their extra deck. Just banish it. Just get rid of it. They don't need it. No one's playing this card. Nobody. Not a single person is playing Winter Cherries right now, and they're all complaining that Halker Fibrax and Link Cross and blah 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 and tune. Dude, Winter Cherries! Go second. Side deck this in and just take out that card before they even combo. It's as soon as they have more monsters in the field. It's as soon as they normal summon, if they don't have called by the grave, which is now at one for some ungodly fucking reason, they're fucked. I, I don't know why nobody is playing this card. I love this card. I could talk about this. I could make an entire video on this one card. But I figured I would open the video up with this. Maybe you guys will stay. Maybe you'll smash that sub button and join the super squadron but let's get on to card two twin twisters it's spell trap removal lightning storm is super super su oh this whole entire thing is side decks by the way paradu oh it's so much information exactly what i was saying at the beginning of the video twin twisters all right right here budget lightning storm it doesn't do the first effect but it's your spell trap removal. If they're going to play things like Mystic Mind, you're playing against Sky Striker, you're playing some type of control, you're going to need spell and trap removal. And it's not going to be in the form of monsters because your monsters' effects are going to be negated. Which also kind of leads me into anti spell fragrance. I really like this card. It forces them to set. They can't just completely combo off. Dragon Link just can't pop into Quick Launch if they're bricky. Just little things about this card. If you're going second, it's a great side deck card. All of these cards are great side deck cards. Mystic Mind. They they all kind of go together, but in my opinion, if you get Mystic Mind and you don't have an out, that's that's GG. They walk from the table. If they don't have an out for Mystic Mind and you didn't play it dual one, and you pop it out in dual two, you might sneak dual two because they don't have a removal for it. Is is little cheeky ways that you can gain these victories and these plays, and it all starts with like I said, if you play Winter Cherries in the side or you use it and you try to go second, and your strategy is to go second, you can get so much deck knowledge and stop them before they even start to play. And if once you get that deck knowledge, and if you can have use for Mystic Mind, it's great to have in the side. Personally, I like the Solemns for going first. That's why these are down here. The Solemn package is great for going first. If you, you know your strategy revolves around going first, and you want to try to set something up, some type of board, say Appaloosa, and you want that extra cushion, Chloe, what's up in chat? Thank you very much for joining. Just doing a little video for the YouTube, so hopefully people stay in and keep listening. But Harpy Feather Duster, same idea as Twin Twister. However, Harpy Feather Duster is awesome because it'll wipe 
everything off their board, including their field spell. So not only are you going to get a great out to Mystic Mine if they do say have that, you're going to get out. You're going to get so much back row taken out with this card. I think it's a good main deck card. It's a one of, but it's just uh, overall just value, value across the board. People keep talking about these cards. How many times do you have to summon to get into Halker Fibrax? At least two. Summon limit. Summon limit's a great way of dealing with Halker Fibrax as well in these combo decks. They're going to have to go over it first. They're going to have to have the spell and trap removal. They only start with five cards on turn one. And if they don't have draws and searchers and you have other negates because you're playing hand traps, everyone's playing hand traps, call by the graves at one, play hand traps, it just is what it is. I just, I don't know. I really feel like if I could get anything out in this video that I really hope people are actually going to actively try and use is bring in Winter Chariots in meta. I would love to see this card meta. I would love to see it take over. I think it's so undervalued. I think it's so good. If you have access code Dark in your deck, take it out of theirs. If you've got Halka Fibrax in your deck, take it out of theirs. Link Cross, same thing. These cards are such big problems that people are dealing with right now that they either don't have an out to, or once they get to that point of the combo, you're pretty much fucked. So it's just, why not take the gamble, and if you're playing these cards anyway, try to rip them right out of their extra deck. And even more so, look at their extra deck. See where you can play around it. See how you can play around it understand where their combo pieces are going to be and where you can try to hit it to cause the most damage. Overall, I, I think all of these cards are great, but in, in what we're dealing with right now in terms of a meta building up, I think all of these cards are uniquely great on their own, but when combined with others, they're great side deck pieces. Oh. Without further ado, that's going to end this video. I do appreciate Everybody who stuck by this long got to the end. If, if you agree with me on Winter Cherries, leave a comment. If you don't agree with me on Winter Cherries, leave a comment. If you hate Twin Twisters and you'd rather spend $300 on a set of Lightning Storm, leave a comment. Mystic Mine, if you think I'm degenerate for liking this card, leave a comment. Summit Limit and Anti-Spell Fragrance. Anti-Spell Fragrance, I feel like people should play in the side deck. Summit Limit is just a card that I have that I remember when I first started playing. I saw all these combos and I pulled two copies and I forget what it, uh, set it was. But it really, uh, it helped me slow things down as a newer player. When I was playing against like Salad or other combo decks, I didn't really understand. Well, it Salad's a control deck, but to me it was a combo deck when I first started playing because it was spamming the board. This helped me slow the pace down a little bit. It's just a card that I remember having early into coming back into the game. And I, I figured it was worth a mention, especially since you need at least two summons to get into Halka Fibrax. And it can also help it out. But, yeah. That's the video. Don't forget to hit that sub button. Join the Supa Squad. I stream on Twitch all the time. And Supa, out.